Excel's Goal Seek is another tool in the What If Analysis suite on the Data tab of the ribbon. Goal Seek is great when you know the value you want to return, but you're not sure of the inputs required to get that result. For example, let's say your 13-year-old wants to save $10,000 to buy a car when they graduate school. They've got a part-time job and can afford to save $100 a month in an account that pays 5% interest per annum. Now you can use Goal Seek to determine how much they must save per month and for how long to reach their goal. Let's take a look. Here, column B contains my original calculation, which I've copied to column C for Goal Seek to work its magic. Now cell C7 contains the future value formula that calculates the value of saving $100 per month for 60 months at an annual interest rate of 5%. Now this is my target value cell that I want to return $10,000. There are a couple of constraints to this scenario in that they can't save more than $100 per month and they can't get a higher interest rate. In fact, they'd be lucky to get that, but let's go with it. And the only variable they have is the number of months they can save for. All I need to do is go to the data tab of the ribbon, what if analysis and goal seek. It's defaulted to populate cell C7 as a set cell. That is the cell that I want to return $10,000. And just note that this cell must contain a formula. What value do we want? Well, $10,000. And which cell are we going to change? The number of periods. Click OK. Now Goal Seek may go through several iterations before it finds the solution. Now that it's found the answer, it's changed the cell I referenced in the By Changing Cell field, which is cell C5. And we can see it's going to take the best part of 84 months to save $10,000. Now what if they manage to increase their savings by foregoing the latest video games each month? I can hear it now. My son will just go crazy and say something like, I'd rather poke myself in the eye than not have the latest game. But I can be persuasive, so I'm going to run another goal seek in column D. This time I'm going to look at changing the payment amount. So again, what if analysis, goal seek. We're going to set this cell to $10,000 by changing the saving amount. Click OK. And it's found that if they save $147.05 per month, they'll save $10,000 in 60 months, assuming they are earning an annual interest rate of 5%. So now I just have to convince my son to start saving for a car. Wish me luck. Well, I hope you've got some ideas on how you might use Goal Seek. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.